So this pretty much is just gonna be an inside view of the Sony CCD TRV85 because I'm not gonna be able to repair this one. And I'll tell you what happened. If you see this guide right here, you can see how that's nice and round. If you look at this one here, it's not nice and round. It's actually broken, like part of that's lifting up and stuff. What I suspect happened wasn't that someone was in this one. This There's actually like a white nylon washer that holds this down onto the shaft and these are known to pop out. And I think that's what happened. Unfortunately, it probably happened while the camera was in operation. It jammed against one of the guides when it was trying to go back up and it ended up snapping that guide off, which was also rolling inside the mechanism as well too. And it jammed everything else up. Unfortunately, I'm not gonna be able to retine this because retiming is just gonna go and pop right back out anyway. And I don't have that guide to put another one back into it. So I'm gonna end up having to throw a whole nother transport into this machine if I want to get it working. So at least I got good capstan motor heads and stuff like that. So it's not a total loss if I decide not to repair it, which I probably won't repair it because it's really not, you know, economically viable to go and repair this. It's just not worth the money. If it was a digital eight or something, yeah, but this isn't a digital eight. It's just, it's a really nice though, high eight XR stereo playback machine. It's a shame I kind of did want to get it going, but unfortunately, due to that pinch roll falling out and when it had in jammed in this mechanism and put everything out of time. Here you can see a capstan motor, which of course goes to this gear here, which drives the pendulum back and forth to control the reel. There's your loading motor that turns the cam, which goes ahead and controls everything else, of course. And then here's your head. And you can see there, and he uses five heads. This will be salvageable. I'm gonna take that though, I'm using something else, but really not much I can do for this transport, unfortunately. I just figured I'll go and give you an inside shot before I put it all back together. And there you go. And then here, of course, is the transport side. And to remove one of these and tear it down, there's two screws on the side right there. There's actually a C-clip, and you also got to go ahead and remove this plastic washer which holds that pendulum gear at and you can slide it out. Now I had to take it apart that way because it was jammed upwards and there was no way to get into position to take it apart properly but either way it goes I got it apart without breaking anything else and unfortunately I'm not going to be able to retime this due to that guide there being broken unless I happen to come across another transport that's junk where it has a good guide then Maybe I'll be able to retime it and get it working again, but unfortunately on this one, not going to happen, but I'm going to show you what the other side looks like. And I got it apart right now, of course, because I had to take things apart to get it out. And you can see where there's one screw there, one screw there, and your C-clip would go normally right here. It's pretty much like this, disassembling the HDV decks, which I'm used to taking it apart and repairing because the mold gears go bad on those all the time. And they also have the pinch roller problem too, unfortunately. So these are easy mechanisms to retime if you actually have done it. So yeah, you can actually repair it. Unfortunately, you can't find the parts for it. So this is junk pretty much. So I'm gonna go and put this back together, put it on the shelf and probably just use it for parts. It does got some valuable parts there. Like I got the CCD there at least. Well, there's a tape that was used for test. I just kind of got everything laid out. And then right over here, let's look over and like, take a look at the main board while we're at it. Eh, here's what the screws now. This is not gonna be time though. Here I'll go and give you a look so you can kind of see how one of these are. Before I put it back together, there's the head amplifier. And here's the other side of the board. Reason why they're not, they're, these are pretty reliable because thankfully they don't use those crappy SMD capacitors like the earlier ones did. So that's why these still pretty much work. So long, of course, the transport don't it jamming up. The common problem is, is that pinch roller. Unfortunately on these ends because that nylon, which I couldn't find, that probably got lost somewhere. 
ended up cracking that fell out and unfortunately it's a common issue with these so it's really not much i can do about this one so let me go and get this back together so I figure I'll go and show you what it looks like now that I got the loading mechanism and everything back on. And that's what it would look like pretty much. So I'm going to go and get this all the way the rest of the way back together and I'll be right back once I'm done. Here's what it looks like somewhat assembled now. That's with the CCD assembly right there. DCDC converter is back behind here. There you go, there's your AV input board and so forth. But that's what it looks like somewhat put back together. You can see how compact they got this. They got this mounted on the deck frame and so forth. So I'm gonna go and get this the rest of the way back together. And then here's the stereo microphone array. See this right there. Plugged into this PCB board right here. And this is for the lens cap pretty much. So I went ahead and reassembled the camcorder, at least got it back together in one piece. It's not repaired, I'm not going to repair it because that broken piece like I showed you earlier. And there is another broken bent lever too, so this transport pretty much trash anyway. There you go, it does still power on, the CCDs does still work. This here would be nice to salvage, I am just going to use this as a parts deck, so... This here is not worn out or anything, so I come across another camcorder that does have one. I got good parts for this one. Hoods are probably still good. Cap stand is still good, so definitely can use some parts to clone the LCD and the CCD is still good. As far as repairing this one, it's really not worth repairing. Only because, you know, they really don't go for much, so... No point trying to find a whole nother transport and everything else like that, which probably costs as much as the whole entire camcorder. And then too, you don't know if it works and has the same issues and stuff like that too, so you might end up wasting money. So this will just go with my parts bin. I left the deck on purpose in the open position so I can pull parts when I need to off of it. But other than that, that's exactly what's probably gonna happen to this one. Probably gonna be just used for parts to fix other ones. But this concludes the video. At least it gives you inside look of what's inside one of these handy cam. And this is a CCD TRV85 high camcorder.